Hey everybody, hope you're well. Oh, let's just get out of that sun a bit. <laughs> That's a bit bright. That's a bit bright. There we go, there we go. We'll start again. Hey, hey everyone, hope you're okay. I'm just out in the Norfolk Broads tonight. I've just taken a little 10 mile drive down the road past the village of Akel and I've swung into a little, um, should we call it a hamlet or something like that? Hamlet. Oh, I've gone mad tonight, sorry. But I'm in a beautiful little place called Damgate. Some lovely, some lovely walk in here, some beautiful, um, beautiful trees today, wonderful weather. Let's just, oh, look at them clouds. Gorgeous. So yeah, just having a little trundle in Broadland, see what I can see, probably the last hour of light. Some wonderful trees, some wonderful clouds. I think there's gonna be a bit of a downpour, so got me, um, got me jacket in the, in the bag there, ready to um, put that on, because it's supposed to absolutely throw it down for a little while. But at the moment, the light is gorgeous, so I'm just gonna have a lovely look around here, enjoying myself for, a, like I say, about an hour and a half. Oh, that is so nice. Let me just show you again. Oh, those beautiful trees there, look, ooh, tree, 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 tree. Taking gorgeous light at the moment, taking gorgeous light. Anyway, look, I'm talking too much, so let's get some pictures in the, do you call it the can? I don't know what you call it. I'm a little bit um, rusty with this again now. Never mind. Anyway, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it, John, yeah? <laughs> wow, it makes note to self to come back here on a foggy, misty day as well, because it would be absolutely superb. Long time since I've been down here, actually. I remember coming here on a winter's day hmm, four or five years ago, and part of the path was blocked. A huge sort of area of water spilled across. The path was completely, um, completely impassable. So um, that was annoying because I had a bit of a walk on that day, but it wasn't going to happen. But yeah, so much potential here. Beautiful greenery at the moment. And it's not too over the top green, as in, you know, it's all one shade. There's, there's some nice subtle shades coming through. Um, and it's, it's just really nice just to keep looking around and see what I can see tonight. No real agenda, no Broadland iconic um, places to shoot here. This is just the countryside, the trees, and the sounds of nature, which is absolutely beautiful. And just lovely light, look behind me there. Look at that beautiful light on the trees there. Let's just turn the exposure down a bit. Lovely, beautifully silvery tones in those leaves. Um, there's my finger, beep, beep, beep. Yeah, so let me just get on and stop gassing on. But beautiful, look at that beautiful path behind me. God, imagine that with fog and stuff. Oh, it looked brilliant. Anyway, get on, John, get on, more shots. One of the things that this um, idiot photographer forgot is that obviously um, plants and bushes and that tend to grow during the summer. So a lot of the track in the background there, where's my finger? God damn it. Yeah, there look, is, is all a little bit high, so I can't shoot into the beautiful light that's going on to the onto the beautiful area of sort of marshland beyond. I'm now at the bit that I was talking about earlier on that sort of floods. Now, if I turn around, let's just try and see if that exposure's right. Yeah, you can see the sort of the dike here. Where's my finger again? Oh man, there, all there, dike, blah, blah, blah. And it all sort of floods across. But at the moment, there's a little boardwalk bit. They put some boards there, so I should be able to get across. And hopefully there'll be some nice light, probably about half an hour left and I can get some lovely color on these trees. Sky is amazing, hold on, let's have a little run. Go cool. there, John, steady on, you're nearly 89 or whatever you are. Here yeah, you look, look behind me. Let's just take the vol um, volume down, take the exposure down a bit, look at those clouds. Oh, gorgeous, Ooh, up we go again, scary. Anyway, I'm talking a lot of old tripe tonight, aren't I? But hey, it's good fun being out, good fun being out. So let's get some more images in the can, shall we? Hey, oh, gorgeous, look at that sky. Now, see that tree? Oh, where's my finger? Bring it back, John, that tree there. I'm gonna walk a little bit further. Oh, which way will that be now? Southward, and hopefully I can um, isolate that tree against the beautiful brooding sky with all this lovely light. Get the old polarizer on. I'm gonna put on the standard Gibbo 135, no surprise there. I wish I knew there, if there was a way into that marshland behind me, absolutely fantastic in there. Look at that beautiful light in there. Oh dear. It's the trouble with a lot of broadness. Some of it's very difficult to access. And obviously, yeah, it's farmland and it's private land, etc., etc. But you think, oh, as a, you know, as a photographer, oh, I'd love to go in there and just have a, have a little look, uh, have a few minutes, take a couple of images, but um, it won't be tonight. Can't swim. That water doesn't look particularly healthy. And um, I've got this big sky and this, this tree to sort out. So yeah, let's see if I can get that sorted. 135 on. 
beautiful. Let's see what we can get. I don't know what it is about this lens. This 135, Sigma 135 art. I put it on <laughs> and I just, I wake up, I come alive. I don't, I, that sounds really, really dramatic. I've, I've had the 2470 on when I came out. Yeah, I was seeing things, but it wasn't really happening. I put the 135 on and suddenly, bang, the world opens up, abstracts open up, some of my strange experimental stuff, which is out of focus and all about little light play and that. I love it. I love it. And if that's what I want to do at the moment, then that's what I'll bloody well do. That's, there's no point trying to force something. If you're not seeing it with a certain lens, don't do it. Put, put your favorite one on or put, put another lens on. Just keep trying. And for me tonight, I've just put this 135 on and I can see stuff now. I'm thinking, that'll look great with the 135. That'll look brilliant. Oh, wow, if I zoom into there, it's a, oh, Mm, yeah, I'm just seeing things at the moment with longer lenses, with longer lenses, and that's fine. That's fine by me, absolutely fine. So um, then I follow some 135 shots, I imagine. <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's put some up and um, see if they work, what I've, what I've spotted. <laughs> Well, I've just been videoing the girl. Oh, hold on, let's just take that. Yeah, that's it, that bit. Can you see the girls behind me all having a little bit of a chew? Yeah, bless them. Yeah, so I've just been videoing them. See if I can get a couple of shots in a minute. Yeah, it's nice to be joined. <laughs> oh, lovely, beautiful out here tonight. Absolutely beautiful. Some cracking light. Wherever I'll get anything, I really don't know. But um, yeah, it's just been nice. Really been, really been good to come out. Oh, bless them. They're so lovely. They're so lovely. Anyway, I'll put the video of them up in a minute. And um, yeah, I'm just sort of skirting this. Well, let me just have a little look. look. There's a sort of a dike here, very full of algae or um, green sludgy stuff. Oh, nearly fell over then. There's some beautiful light behind. Oh, it's lovely. Gorgeous evening. Gorgeous evening. Yeah. Oh, it might be a little bit of cow photography in a minute. Well, anyway, stop and get on, John. Get on. Get to that tree that you said you were going to photograph. <sighs> Well, I'm still here with my girls and they're, they're happy. Now, I've just been shooting the tree in the distance. Oh, let's just take that exposure down a tiny bit. The tree in the distance, look at that lovely little curved dike there. That is quite handy. So I've had a go with that and trying to make a shot and it looks all right, looks all right. Hello girls, they're being good. Oh, some cracking light over there. Oh dear, what a beautiful evening. Big old Norfolk sky, look at that. Hopefully that'll take some nice color at the, um, at the end of the day. Whether I'll be able to shoot anything, you know, for sunset from here, I don't really know, but. Happy bunny, happy bunny. Anyway, gonna go over there now. Look, look at some of the light hitting the, um, hitting the land there. Some beautiful crops there as well, taking the light. Nice trees, nice evening. Got me girls with me. Lovely, let's see what else I can find. Wow, hey, lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm gonna sign off here, guys, because I'm just gonna try and enjoy the last mm, 20 minutes of light. Mm, uh, maybe it won't come through, maybe there'll be, there's a lot of cloud coming in, so Mother Nature may have an absolute soaking for me as well lined up, but don't care, really. It's only, only 10 minutes from home, so I can soon sort myself out. But yeah, look at that, beautiful light, beautiful steely gray clouds. A little bit awkward that way because there are um, sort of electric lines behind, but yeah, I can't be too precious about that. I'm not going to clone them out. They're, they're fine. They'll they'll sit there nicely, be part of the part of the shot. But thanks ever so much for joining me um, in Broadland tonight. Bit of a mishmash of a vlog, bit of a mess. I don't care to tell you the truth. You get what you get. You're not going to get top tips or um, clickbait titles from me. You're just going to get me enjoying myself out in the country. And photography comes first. And um, if I can mishmash a vlog together, then, then I will. Um, if I can't, so be it, in the bin. Thank you, hope to see you soon. Thanks for joining me. And um, yeah, somewhere beautiful in Norfolk in a week's time, two weeks time, two months time, who knows? Thank you ever so much for your support, any comments and um, look after yourselves, hug your loved ones, don't forget that, please. 
and see you soon, all right? Bye-bye, take care. Bye. You get a little kiss too, look. Bye-bye. Mm.